Laser printing is a printing technique that is often used in places where lots of documents need to be printed very quickly because it's a printing technique that is very fast and quite economical as well. So let's just go over the, the entire printing process from the moment you click the print button on a computer to the moment you take the piece of paper out of the printer and see that your image has been printed. So here's my schematic drawing of a laser printer. It all starts off here with the so-called photosensitive drum. The photosensitive drum is a drum that is coated in a photosensitive material. Now that drum is negatively charged as soon as you turn on the printer. So when you turn on the printer, you press the power button, uh, this drum is negatively charged. So the, ent the entire surface area of the drum becomes negative. But there is a very interesting thing about this drum, and that is that the photosensitive material loses its charge when it's exposed to light. So if we were to take um, a flashlight and point that flashlight at this drum, the drum would lose its negative charge. But instead of just pointing a flashlight at the entire drum and discharging the whole thing, we can also discharge specific areas of the drum. In fact, if we had a laser pointer and we pointed that laser pointer at the drum, we could use it to essentially draw patterns, patterns of electric charge on the drum. I mean, you wouldn't be able to see those patterns because the human eye can't see electric charge, unfortunately, um, but you would be able to draw an electric pattern on this drum, which is rather interesting. And it turns out that this is exactly what happens inside the laser printer, because as you can see in the schematic drawing, a laser is pointing at the drum. And that laser is connected to the control unit of the printer. The control unit of the printer has just received an image from the computer through USB or something, and it's just converted that image into a pattern of dots. So that's what it does first. What the control unit will then do is it will use the laser to draw this pattern of dots onto that drum. So the laser beam will horizontally scan over the surface of the drum while the drum is rotating slowly. So essentially we're drawing a pattern of dots on this drum. Once this process is completed, what we've basically done is converted our image into a pattern of dots, a pattern of electrically discharged dots on the surface of, of a drum. But of course, we can't see this, right? We can't see electric charge like we just said, so we can't, this is not very useful just yet. This is where toner comes in. Toner is a, a powdery substance that is basically the ink of the laser printer. So in this case it's black because we're printing a grayscale or black and white image. Now that toner is also negatively charged. So when the toner is still in its in its container, we've also negatively charged it just like the drum. And now we put that toner onto a little roller called obviously the toner roller and from the toner roller the toner goes onto the photosensitive drum. And this is where something very interesting happens. You see, the toner is negatively charged. Therefore, it'll repel the negatively charged drum. But not in all places, right? Because some places on that drum, actually many places on that drum, have been discharged because those places have been hit by the laser beam. Which means the toner will only stick to the places on the photosensitive drum that have been struck by the laser. So now we get a pattern of toner, so this, this powdery stuff, this toner, forms a pattern on the drum that matches the original image. And now we can see it. Finally, the only thing we have to do now is take a piece of paper and we run that piece of paper along the photosensitive drum, which is covered in toner. The toner will then go onto the piece of paper and now we have an image on that piece of paper. Finally, we run the piece of paper through a couple of very hot rollers to properly fuse the toner onto the piece of paper permanently, and there it is, a picture on the piece of paper. And all of these steps can be done 
incredibly quickly. All of these components can operate in a very fast way, meaning this print job takes very, very little time. For colour images, it's slightly more complicated, but the principle is the same. What it comes down to is that we run this process multiple times. So if you do, if you're familiar with painting, you know that there are three primary colours that you can use, which are yellow, cyan, and magenta. Right? Those are the primary colours when when painting or printing. So. For a colour image, it basically prints the image three times. It first prints all the yellow information, then it prints all the magenta information, and then it prints all the blue information, or the, what is it, cyan information. So that is how laser printing works. I hope you've enjoyed this video, um, and of course, thank you for watching.